Hi friends, we are going to be reviewing what a four would look like in your informational books. So we've already reviewed what a one would earn, a two, and a three, and we talked about their rubrics and their exemplars. So let's look at what a four would look like in an exemplar and look at the rubric. So remember, if you are earning a four, that means you also have the information and meet the criteria for the three, the two, and the one. If you have some of a three and some of a four, but not all the things in a four, then you're probably not quite earning a four yet. So think about in your writing how you can add more information or more details or text features to help push your writing to a higher score. Think about how are you understanding how to write informational books and see if your book compares to a one, a two, a three, or a four. And then we can set some goals. So a four, to earn a four, your book helps, reader, helps the reader become interested and ready to learn about the topic, well organized into parts and all information fits chapters, includes facts, definitions, details, and explanations. Notice friends, there's an added definitions here that wasn't over here and explanations as well. Uses commas to help readers pause in writing what that means is knowing when to, when I'm reading it out loud, when to pause in how I'm reading it. Uses expert words to teach important facts, but also explains them. The ending wraps up the book and gives readers a next step. And dialogue is correctly shown using quotation marks and commas. So let's check out what a four looks like. You can notice, again, there's the table of contents. There's an introduction, what they look like, bulldog care, bulldog pets, and a glossary. You can also notice the page numbers don't totally match the chapter numbers. Some pages and some chapters are longer, so thinking about how is your book looking as well. Introduction. Have you ever seen a dog whose face is so wrinkled it makes you laugh? Notice I'm not starting this introduction with I am going to tell you anymore. Now I'm getting the reader ready to read my book about Bulldogs. So I'm having them think about their own life first. That might be a Bulldog. I am an expert on Bulldogs because I have one. I am going to tell you everything you need to know about Bulldogs. Fun fact, there are different kinds of Bulldogs. What they look like. Bulldogs can be different colors, but they all have wrinkled skin. Notice there's more details and more labels on this uh, illustration. So they have a short wide body, a muzzle, jaw, and short legs. One fact about Bulldogs is that they have very unusual looks. They have a short wide body and short legs. They can be different colors, but the most common colors are tan, black, and white. Notice there's commas in this list. The best part about the bulldog's look is its face. The bulldog has a wrinkled looking face and a wide jaw. Notice that this is a bold word because it's darker and wider than the rest of the words. That means it's an expert word. It looks like it is always sad, but don't worry, that's just, if it, that's just its look. It has round black eyes and a short muzzle. Again, bold word. The biggest bulldogs weigh about 50 pounds. All of this is information that I did not learn on the last page. Bulldog care. Bulldogs need exercise to stay healthy. It can be sunny or rainy outside. Baths help bulldogs stay healthy. Bulldogs need to be taken care of. It is important for bulldogs to get plenty of exercise. They need to be walked at least once a day. Also, their fur, called a coat, can get dirty, so they need to be brushed. Notice a few things, friends. Coat is bolded here, but the explanation is in the sentence. So it says also their fur called the coat. It's explaining that fur is called a coat. You can also notice there's a break in between the information. The first part talks about it's important for them to get exercise. Let's check out what the second part says. The bulldog needs to eat good food in order to stay healthy. Bulldogs can get fat, so it's important to feed them just the right amount of food they need. 
Some kinds of food that are good for bulldogs are special dog food, biscuits, and mashed potatoes. Notice this second part talks about what they need to eat, but this first part talks about exercise. Both of those uh, topics are under bulldog care. So you need to take care of your bulldog by giving them exercise and by giving them good food. You can notice there's another part here. So let's see, does this part match bulldog care? Bulldogs need to take baths about once every month. My dad says you need to wash him so he stays healthy. Again, notice the correct comma with the dialogue and the quotation marks. But just the bath isn't enough. After the bath, you have to clean around their wrinkles because the wrinkles can get dirty. Also, they get really smelly. Make sure you are extra careful to get in all their wrinkles. And there's a label for wrinkles. Notice friends, every single part of this chapter talks about how to take care of a bulldog. Bulldogs need exercise to stay healthy. Bulldogs need good food. And they need to be taking, taking baths every month. All of those talk about how to take care of your bulldog. Also notice this chapter goes on to two pages. Bulldog pets, plays with kids, good watchdogs, adopt your own bulldog. One fact about bulldogs is that they are very tame. They are good to have around kids and they are good watchdogs. They may look like they are mean, but really they are not. For example, in my book, there was a story about a bulldog who saved his family by barking when there was a fire. There are a few different kinds of bulldogs, like the American Bulldog, English Bulldog, and French Bulldog. If you like dogs and you are thinking about getting one, I re recommend a bulldog. So friends, think about this last chapter that they have. This is their conclusion. And it's not just one sentence. It's talking about some different things that the reader can then go do after they finished reading this book. They're trying to convince the reader about the information they've shared. But all of this is true information. Glossary, coat, the bulldog's fur, jaw, bones that hold the teeth, and muzzle, dog's mouth and nose. So think friends about this. What is your book earning right now? Does your book earn a one, a two, a three, or a four. You can look at the parts in the rubric to think about how your book is matching up and then think what can you add in next. So maybe you need to add in more facts, tips, and expert words to tell more. Maybe your sentences don't have periods. So think about what you can add to your book to make it even better. Good luck!